Hi everybody. Now I'm gonna uh, do the next tutorial, tutorial number I think six. And this is the part that we're gonna make. Uh, this is a practice for the SWA test or exam. And this is how the, the final part should look like. And these are the detailed dimensions and more different views. Alright. I would upload the, the this sample question on the links below the description for this uh, tutorial. Okay. So this is the question number two B. I solved the previous one. Question number one C. Okay. So this this one unit is IPS so what shall work because the previous question I don't need to say that's N IPS template that I made before and now I'm going to D okay looks like this so I would choose the top and then what I'm gonna draw is some lines or maybe let's let's draw the circle first oh I'm sorry let's draw the rect rectangle first and I would like to have a large center one How much its length? Length is A. A A A A is two point one two five. Two point one two five. And B is uh, and that B is yeah. It should be one point two five. It should be the same as that. Uh, 1.25 okay and now we draw the circle at the midpoint of here and here okay and now we're gonna do some trimming remove, remove this trimming So you can see by removing that the relationship went crazy. So we're gonna do some correction here. So first thing choose these two, make them both vertical. Choose these two, make them coincide, and then it's all alright. I just some few modification it became fully defined again so we got the circle there is another inner circle it's better to draw it now so we got a circle how much is the diameter 0.75 and let's get fully defined oh, very good how much it should be Thick. Let's see. It says uh, the wall and the thickness 0.25. So press Q. Choose this and 0.25. I'm sorry. Yeah, 0.25. Enter, enter three times. This is another trick that you can expand this. Select this sketch and press Q again. Choose this one. Check its height. It's 0.5. Let me see. 0.5. It is okay. We got the part. There are two holes on here, which are what? How much? How much angle? We have to go and check the one here. It's 45 degrees. 
from the center. So this plan we have to see choose the right plane, choose the plane, check the angle that it would be 45 and from this line press T and choose choose this line. Okay, what's going wrong? What's going wrong? Oh, it's not a distance, it's an angle, 45. Okay, so we got a 45 angle. And it's fully defined, our plane is there. Choose, choose the plane to sketch on. And what we're gonna do to create these holes, we need to draw a circle which is 0.136 each. Circle and it should be there on the center of this. How much it was? 0.136. 0.136. How much from up or bottom? It's 0.19 from up. So go back. Look like this again. Do like this again. And choose this here. 0.19 distance. You can see it there. And our sketch is fully defined. Will be fine, the good news. All we need to do is now to export the cut, press up to next, and that's it. So we got here. What we're gonna do, there are as you can see two holes, both are 45 degrees from the center. That means we're gonna what mirror mirror from which plane front plane I'm sorry it's not right there yeah. right plane this picture this picture everything alright alright right click ok and we got a cut get this center line by pressing T and now we go to the other side of our part this this side so from here you can see how to make it. It is it is something that we have to draw on this surface. Make it clear to the face. Okay. And then draw a line. Draw the line upward. Is it from here? No, so you cannot know what's the distance. So you just put here. Go back on that point and you get an arc. Get this relations and you got it. How much is dimension from this point? I think yeah, from here to here is 0.5. So that means from here to here is how much? It's 0.5 inch. Sketch is again fully fine. That's a good news. How much we have to go back? Let us check here. It says 0.375. So press Q. Type 0.375. I click. I click. Why it doesn't work? Oh no! Reverse direction. Things looks nice and good. Press OK. So back here. Then we can draw this. This part. It's easy start with easy parts first. So it's a diameter of point seven five. 
Is this our fast gauge? Hmm. Come here to get the center. Get the center. Point and five. Press escape. See everything is fully defined. It's fully defined. How much is the distance? 0.44. 0.44. Enter and enter. Come here. Now this place. We're gonna do it. This is a bit more complicated. We're gonna sketch it right here. Like this. I'm gonna do a rectangle. How much height it should be? Point three one. Point three one. How much length? You can see it here. Point eight seven five. Point eight seven five. And you need to dimension more to make it constrained. It is how much from the side? Point one. Eight. Eight. How much is from top or bottom? Let me see here. Let me see here. But this can you see here is it's in the same line with this one. So it should be point two five because this was also point two five. and now we are fully defined but as you can see there are some fillets in here to pick out zero point this and this 0 0.03 with such a small fillet I don't think the mass would be so different in the final results anyways we made the fillet it's fully defined how, how deep we should go it says 0 0.06 from the end of this part so cut what I'm doing escape cut Offset from surface, this surface, this surface, how much? 0 0.06. Yes, it was 0 0.06, yes. Okay. Oh my god, this awesome. As you could see there, there was a hole here. So how much is the diameter of this circle? Point one three six point one six and it is point one two five from left point one two five from left uh, where where it is located from up it's not given here not given here but you could approximately say it's in the center of this hole here so in order to get that center what we're gonna do is to choose this this may I can something like this and then make it for construction press in B ok this is construction press B right there, there this is vertical and then choose these three lines make it symmetry why doesn't symmetry apply here as you see why it's already these two are like symmetry so let's remove this choose again these three and this time will give us 
Okay, then you need a clue. It's in your estimate, unfortunately. But it's not the end of the story, don't worry. Press B. Always try to find another way to to us to get it. Choose C and D. Okay. Now get the center line. Choose actually first the midpoint and choose this and make it coincident. Okay, now now everybody is in the center at last. So when they come through all the light things, I got the cut for both sides as you can see from both sides. So next you have to draw a sketch for this rig. And it's on the as I remember it was a right plane. You gonna got to do and it should be from this point to where to somewhere in here that it needs to be in the middle and it has got how much 30 degree angle 30 degree angle it is fully defined everything is alright fully defined you can choose read now As you remember, it was 0.25 bricks. 0.5 divided by 2 because it's for one side. I think so. I have to check right now. Look too fat to me. Okay. <coughs> and as this. Let us read. Major to be sure it's point two five. Is it perpendicular distance? Which one? So it's it was not point two five. So we're gonna click in here, edit feature, and say point two five. It should be like this. If you remember there was a fillet here. How much is fillet? Point one. Point one by this point. So got the fillet. And now this is the completed part. I think so. It looks like this, yeah. yeah it looks like this. Now what we're gonna do is to check what was its material so we can find density and then therefore we find mass alloy steel alloy steel right click edit alloy steel this is alloy steel apply close go to mass check the mass 0.47 should be the mass okay, what, what are the answers so this should be the answer point exactly we got the right answer <sighs> okay guys <coughs> thank you for watching for this tutorial and uh, in the next tutorial we will do the next problem which would be uh, this problem where is this okay there is a drafting competency I can um, uh, give you the answer for this one it's, it's one of the four and as you can see it's nothing but broken it's not a broken out section not a line it's not this it's broken okay so I'll go down this is the next part and i will cover this in my next tutorial thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it